I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an example on continuous uniform distribution. Given continuous random function x whose distribution is uniform distribution, normally we write u for that, so I write u, which is from 1 to 10. Write the transform function y equals to 2x plus 3. Find probability for y to be within 10 and 20. So let's try to see how to define y in terms of a continuous random function given to us. So what we are given here is that x is a continuous uniform distribution. So u stands for uniform, which I wrote here, from the interval between 1 to 10. So within this interval, it is a continuous function with a value of a probability constant probability distribution. Now we need to write this transform function y in these terms. y is equal to 2x plus 3. So let's find the lower and the upper bound for y, which we can get from these values 1 and 10 of x. So the lower value for y will be equals to y equals to 2 times, we'll substitute 1 here, plus 3. That gives us 2 plus 3, which is 5. And the upper bound for y will be 10 is the value, right? So 2 times 10 plus 3, which is 23. So that gives us the function y. So y could be defined as, as uh, the function whose value will be defined between this interval 5 to 23, right? And what is going to be the value? We need to figure that out. So to find that out, let us kind of sketch and then see what it should be. So let me sketch it here. So what we are saying is that y is defined between 5 and 23. Let us say this is this is 5 for us. Okay, so it's constant between 5 and 23. Let us say. Let's say that is 23 for us. So these values for us are 5 and 23. And within this interval, the value of the function, let me write this as f of y, is constant as given here. Now what should be the constant value that we can find? Because we know that area is 1. So the area equals to 1. So that gives us the constant. Now what is this length? This length is 23 minus 5. Correct. So this length is 23 minus 5 and therefore to get this as 1 we should have this value as 1 over 23 minus 5. Do you agree with me? Right. So in that case when you multiply these two quantities in that case, in that case we get the total area as 1. Right. 23 minus 5 is 18. So the value of y or we can say f of y is equals to 1 over 18 when y is greater than equal to 5 and less than equal to 23 and it is equal to 0 otherwise for any other value. So that is how you can define the function. I hope that's absolutely clear. Now this is part A, let us see how to solve the part B, which is to find the probability, right? So this is part A. Let's solve part B now. So in part B, we want to find the probability for the random variable y to be within 10 and 20. So within 10 and 20 will be, let us say, uh, let us say that is, uh, uh, 20 for us, let us say, 
and let us say this is 10 for us. Then the probability is defined by the area within this region, right? So the area gives you the probability, this area. So we can easily calculate this area since we know this is 10 and this point is 20. So this probability is equals to 1 over 18 which is the height of this rectangle and 10 minus 20 minus 10 which is 10 right. So it is 10 times 1 over 18. So that becomes the probability, the area under this curve within the interval 10 to 20, correct? So that is to say, we can simplify this dividing by 2, we get 5 over 9. So the probability is 5 over 9, correct? So that is how you could get the probability for a uniform distribution. In this particular case, you can see is the ratio of the area between the two, or you can also say it is ratio of 10 over 18, right? So ratio of 20 minus 10 divided by 23 minus 5. So that is direct way of finding it out. I hope that helps. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.